Association of Diving Contractors International. This will be educational and sharing. We don't want to break up the data, so we're going to let it roll. This deals with this video I put up here, <clears throat> and you guys are, I think, misunderstanding um, what's going on here as, as far as uh, delta P, the pressure differential. So let's go here. I want you guys to look up delta P. Pressure differential or different pressure usually refers to the technical word to the drop of pressure in a piping system. So he's on one side over here. On the other side, there's a different pressure. When he at water will come through there and try to equalize because it's an open pipe. <clears throat> it will never be able to equalize because the open pipe it will never back up. It will just keep going. When it when it finally gets below level, maybe I don't know if that ever will happen. I don't, don't know where the water source is. Um, of course, it will. Uh, then then the, you know you're now equal. Or you have now broken the, the seal of you, if you will, and you're able to get out. Let's look at the video now to help you understand a little bit more. On how P stands dangerous for differential is. pressure. Our discussion refers to situations where the pressure is. Let's see if you have a vacuum cleaner. You put your hand on your vacuum cleaner, you have enough force to pull it away. But if you didn't, it would just tear your hand apart. But the vacuum cleaner is limited, so you can pull your hand away. But you know that uh, if it had more pressure, it, it would just suck your hand right in. And you're going to see this. Between two bodies of water are dramatically different. In a situation like this, the bodies of water continuously seek to equalize themselves. In this example, the body of water on the right... See how he's trying to equalize himself? Um, and he would be in the path of it. But it would never be equalized because it keeps flowing on the other side. Here we go wants to rush to the body of water on the left by means of the pipe between them. The pressure exerted on the valve stopping this water transfer can be enormous, depending on the difference in the depths of the water and the diameter of the pipe. Valve there. If the difference between the depth of water is 50 feet and the diameter of the pipe is 10 inches, the force of water exerted on the valve is nearly 1,700 pounds. If the valve was suddenly open, now you can imagine if the valve is suddenly open or cleared, like you're clearing with a rake, um, you're going to get pinned there. You're not coming off. And then your arm was near, it would be sucked into the hole instantly. Trying to remove your arm would be like trying to lift a car completely off the ground with one hand. You could only remove your arm if the pressures between the two bodies became nearly equalized. But at the pressure in this example, your body makes a perfect seal, stopping the bodies of water from equalizing. The four your body makes a perfect seal, stopping the bodies of water from equalizing. This is what he was doing over here. He raked here first, and then he stepped back into that, that spot. He got lucky. The leaves and everything else probably allowed the water to come go around it. But if he creates a seal, he's stuck. He's done. And depending on the pressure, um, if water was going through there, it's the vacuum again. You put your hand in that path, it's going to plug it. And let's go on. Formula for calculating the force of water through a hole at a... That's why you design it with grates that are designed, so you, you can't just lock... That's why you have the tilt on the grates. You guys have seen the grates, they got leans on them and tilts on them like that, like... And so it can always have a secondary way to get... So if you were to get on next to there, on next to that grate, you'd be okay as long as the other water was going around you to get into there. So you'd be able to get off again. If it was just flat and you fill a hole like that arm there, it's your toast. The particular depth is the area of the hole multiplied by the difference in water depth multiplied by the PSI per foot of water depth. Or, in the situation just described, the 10-inch hole equals 78 square inches times 50 feet of water depth times 0 0.432 PSI per foot of fresh water depth equals 1,685 pounds of water pressure. If you're diving in salt water, be sure to use 0 0.445 PSI in your formula instead. You can't see or feel a Delta P situation as you dive near it. It grabs you... That's a crab. Look. ...suddenly, and it doesn't let go until the pressure is equalized. When it's gotcha... It's yeah, gotcha. You're gone. Look at the crab just walking by. That little crack. That pressure is trying to equalize from out here into there. And just sucks you over. Sucks you in. You're done. It's gotcha. 
as you watch the following recreations of actual mm. Delta P incidents, ask yourselves if you have, on occasion, mm. ventured into situations without being thoroughly prepared. That's the same training video. I mean, uh, I'll show you another video. Everyone used that. Diver 1 enters the water behind the dam structure in order to clean the strainer of the dam's drain. When the drain is cleared, the tremendous force of rushing water through the drain grabs hold of Diver 1, sucks him partially. This would be the guy on top of there, your man here. Doesn't matter if he's standing up. Still the same thing. He's clearing it. Ah, man, I see the danger. But go on. Inside and traps him. Diver 2 enters the water to help Diver 1 and becomes trapped also. Diver 3 enters the water to rescue divers 1 and 2, and after 40 minutes, returns to the surface with both divers. They are dead. Diver 3 was hospitalized for injuries suffered in the rescue attempts. A scuba diver was repairing a pool bottom at a depth of 10 feet. He came close to the open pool drain and was drawn against it. His body made a perfect seal against the drain. He was diving alone and had no tender at the surface. No one knew he was trapped. He ran out. That little drain down there, that little drain, because of the, the pressure, you know, it's created. It's trying to equalize. You can't, you say, well, there's no water on the other side. No reason to go there. It's trying to equalize the pressure. Wow. If only he knew, if he only knew that the, I don't know why the drain was open, but he didn't check it. Out of air and drowned. Two scuba divers entered a water tower to unclog a drain. Using a fire hose to blast away the silt and mud that was clogging the drain, the drain suddenly opened. A great suction immediately occurred. Diver 1 was pulled... What does this suction remind you of? Your bathtub. Your bathtub. And there we go. ...into the drain. Visibility was zero. Diver 2 did not know that this had occurred. Diver 2 surfaced, thinking that Diver 1 had already come up. Diver 2 made repeated but unsuccessful attempts to find him. Diver 1 ran out of air and died. Neither diver was tethered to the surface, had communication with the surface, or with each other. A surface supply diver was working offshore in 86 feet of water on a well re-entry project. He was using a drill string to hook a trash cap inside a 13-inch well casing. The first attempt failed to catch the cap. The diver was asked to stand by the hole to make sure the string caught the cap. He reported when he saw the cap was hooked and began to leave. The drill string was pulled to the surface rapidly. Because the cap was nearly the size of the casing, a great suction developed. As the cap came free, the rushing water grabbed the diver and forced one leg into the hole up to the pelvis. The diver was killed. Yeah. Diver 1 enters the water at a hydroelectric generation plant. His assignment is to seal off leaks in a large gate valve. The three-person dive team is assured by the plant's operating personnel that the gate valve is closed. Diver 1 surfaces and reports that he thinks the valves are open. The winch is started and closes the valve. A 30-inch sluice gate is manually cranked shut. The dive team questions the plant personnel. The valve indicator shows the valve not fully closed. Plant personnel reply that the indicator is never correct and typically the valve is cranked until tight. Diver 1 re-enters the water, convinced that everything is okay. Mm. How are the guy out there? He's not a diver. He wouldn't know that. He's, and then here, look at this. In a few moments, he begins to scream. The dive supervisor tries to contact Diver 1 on the intercom. The tender and supervisor pull the lifeline and umbilical. Both have broken from their attach points. The gates are cycled open while waiting for the rescue divers. Two attempts by the company diver... They cycled open trying to uh, equalize the pressure. Um, so he can... So the water can find a way around and no longer find this as the greatest path, the hole. That's the idea behind lifting the other sleuth gates. Never failed to locate Diver 1. Twelve hours later, 
Diver One's body is recovered. When you accept a new job, make sure you take part in a pre-job meeting. Be sure that you understand the layout of the site and how the piping and valve systems work together. The diving supervisor should have a simplified but site-specific schematic of the site and a diving checklist to make sure nothing is on or open that shouldn't be. Your client also needs to know about Delta P. If they take your concerns lightly, make sure they understand the life-threatening hazards. Always practice lockout tagout procedures. These are tried and true methods that can eliminate machinery and valve accidents if practiced religiously. Make sure to consider the potential Delta P hazards of your new assignment when choosing your equipment. Make sure others in the water and on the surface can tell exactly where you are. They should be able to communicate with you at all times and be able to get you out if you're stuck. Make sure your equipment won't interfere or become fouled if you must be near a Delta P situation. ABC. There are certain techniques that you can use to help reduce and even eliminate Delta P hazards. The first step is to recognize the potential forces working on each other in your environment. Learn the layout of the site and how the system functions. Calculate the force of water at the depth you're working based on the size of the openings at that depth. Instead of cutting holes to drain water or relieve pressure, Cut slots. Slots, baby. This, uh, this is the same thing idea behind a sleuth cage. If Open. your body or equipment can't make a good seal against the flow of water, you can't get stuck. Fabricate a cover for the drain that has a screen, or make a cover that has more than one hole a good distance away from the other. The idea is the water can still get through even if your body gets in the way. The goal of this video is to make you aware of the potential for differential pressure situations. The key is to recognize them beforehand and make sure you're prepared to deal with them. Because when it's gotcha, it's gotcha. All right, guys. Compliment of the Association of Diving Contractors. Educational purpose sharing for you guys to, you know, maybe you'll save somebody's life. This guy keeps playing around these pipes. Yes, trying to clean them, but these pipes have, a, have you know, he's, 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 he's getting close. He's flirting, he's flirting with death by uh, not knowing about Delta P. So, again, you guys who might know this guy, because somebody wrote me that they watch his channel. Um, right here. Unclogging massive lake train. Worst clog I have ever seen. Whirlpool's massive. Whirlpool. That's his, that's his drain, his suction. This guy keeps playing around. Look over here too, I guess. Playlist. He's playing around with that. He needs to understand what he's playing with. It's going to be the death of him if he keeps, uh, keeps it up. All right. Hopefully you guys will share with him and you guys also now hopefully understand it's not pushing you. It's sucking you. It's a pressure differential. It, it, it will push you though. It will create, it's a pressure differential that's going on there. So don't think of it as uh, the water's got a lot of force and it's pushing them over. No, it's, it's you can stand there. It's not pushing you over, right? When it comes here where it's got a path that you get in, get inside that path, you're just in the path and it just still wants to go that other direction. It's a, it's a you know, a, a bathtub. You know, again, you come up by the bathtub, it's getting sucked down the drain. You're in the drain. Terminating video. Hope you guys will share this and understand further now that I'm not talking about pushing some it's not pushing it's more like a equalization pressure issue going on it is